Welcome back guys. In this video I'm going to cover the video scope VSP600 from launch um, and connecting it to the Pad7 tablet and operate some of the software. In the kit you'll receive a number of different connections regarding the adaption to USB ports depending upon you can actually use it on any other launch tablets um, which have the different USB ports. But on the Pad 7, this will actually plug in directly into the USB-A port on the tablet itself, which is located on the side. The camera itself has an 800mm eight, uh, length flexible protected cord with a 5.5mm LED camera. Also, it has six LED adjustable light lamps around the, the camera itself and this is adjusted by moving the dial up or down depending upon what brightness it is. It is automatic focus to up to about 50 millimeter. Also it has a button on the top of the hand piece to press to take a snapshot of the unit itself. The, the video camera itself is around 30 frames per minute and at a resolution around 1280 by 720 resolution. With the software itself, it's just a matter of powering up the Pad 7 and selecting other modules, the toolbox area, and video scope. Once the video scope, it might ask you for permission, so say OK and then it's ready to operate. Now in the uh, small parts kit I mentioned before with the accessories in it, you just take it out of the bag and there's a number of attachments that you can use by unscrewing the end cap area you can actually fit this one here which is actually a magnet so if you're required to pick up something out of a cylinder or a tight area you can actually use a magnet the other one you unscrew is the 90 degree camera so if you need to go around a corner or 90 degrees to the hole that you're viewing so it's in this direction you can use this one attachment. The third one is the hook. So again, if you need to hook up, um, hook something out of a cylinder or a tight area, you can use this hook. Um, so it's useful in some cases if you need to use it more so than a camera. And you can actually see it at the same time. The magnet has a hole through the center of it, so you can actually view the article that you received and pick it up magnetically. To enter into the Pad 7's uh, video scope area, is it's just as simple as selecting other modules, selecting toolbox, and video scope it will appear enter into the video scope. The software is quite simple, it's just a matter of if it's a camera uh, showing on the front screen means that it's in camera mode. By hitting the camera area it will change into video or the video. While you're using the video scope, if it's in video mode by pressing the button it will turn the video on and turn the video off. The same goes with in camera mode. If it's in camera mode, by pressing the button on, it will take a snapshot of that picture at that present time and store it in the gallery area. To view the gallery area, simply go back into the main menu, go back and, and slide the screen across 
Do you see gallery? Enter into gallery and all your photos and videos will be there in, and displayed. It's just a matter of selecting that video and touch the center of the screen and then it'll operate all pause. To share the video, I select share and select how I was going to share the video to somebody else. I opened up a stationary motor and removed the spark plug from this motor and placed the camera down the hole where the spark plug came from. And it indicates the top of the cylinder area where I can actually see the exhaust and inlet valves and the piston. And you notice in the video that the exhaust and inlet valve were operating but the piston was not moving when I rotated the crankshaft. The next video, I removed the actual dipstick of the stationary motor's sump area and placed the camera down to the sump. And you can see the, the graining of the picture is because of the reflection of the oil and the and mechanical parts of the, of the lower engine. And you can actually see I can rotate the shaft and the gearing operates, but again, the piston was not in the earlier video. So I can actually see under these conditions if there's physical mechanical damage. At this point in time, if I didn't want a video, I pressed the, into the camera area on the pad seven and placed a snapshot. And this stored it into as a picture form. So I can actually file the picture somewhere if I require it. So as a good example that I have proof um, of physical damage inside the motor without actually pulling the motor apart. Mm -hmm.